Hello everyone and welcome to the next part of playing The Sims 4 uh, Star Wars. We're going to check out the next uh, camp. We haven't checked out the First Order location for our missions. We're going to check that out right now. Uh, thank you to EA for granting early access to this pack so we can check it out together and see what it's all about. Uh, it is fascinating. I, I think I said in the last part it kind of feels like a whole different game because it's just like it's unlike anything I've you know, checked out in The Sims before or experienced in The Sims before. So it is curious. And just a reminder, I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. So a lot of this is very new to me. Uh, so yeah, just bear with me. <laughs> All right, so we have woken up feeling relatively refreshed. I did go to the bathroom by freshening up and I'm hungry. I don't know where we get food around here. Uh, we might need to go to the cantina. And our mission does say that we need to speak to some First Order Stormtroopers. We're kind of going in as a spy um, for the Resistance. And we still, even starting a mission, hasn't increased our reputation with the Resistance at all. So, you know, it, it looks like that won't go up until maybe we complete a mission. So let's head over to the other side of town. We were already in the Black Spire outpost. We've checked that out. I wanna to go to the First Order District. I'm a little scared. <laughs> no, I'm not really scared. I'm just a little scared because I've, these are the bad guys. <laughs> the music is fun. I do recognize the music. Oh, Stormtrooper, hey. So what do we need to do here? We need to just talk, that's fine. Ask to see missions. Uh, only one mission can be active at a time. Well, let's maybe do just a little, a friendly, friendly introduction. So let's just check out these guys. Say hello, what's going on? Uh, I'm new here. I've never been here before. Wow, good, good. Friendly introduction, we'll chat to him a little bit too. And apparently we then need to analyze the tie, uh, which can be located in the First Order District. Oh. So I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. Is it glowing? I don't know. Maybe we can scan this to find out a little bit more. This is pretty. I like this little tree here. It's very nice. Hey, this person's as lost as we are. They were in the last part. I mean, I feel like we should introduce ourselves to Corrine because she just seems like a nice person. And you know, I thought this world would be really dark and scary, but you know what? It's actually pretty nice. There's some nice areas to sit down. There's uh, some interesting things around here too. Bit of greenery. Looks like we just found out a little bit more about this thing. I'm not sure if it just gives us information or does it help us level up in anything? No, not really. And if we're hungry, where can we go? Or we can order food from somewhere. Oh, scan a salvage cart. Oh, I thought we could maybe sit in it. Oh, this is cool. You can like go up to the rooftop here. So I think the resistance world seems bigger in terms of actually how far you can move around. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is it. Oh, so probably any any Star Wars fan would know what this is. The Thai Echelon. The Thai Echelon. So <laughs> here I am looking for like some little object and you guys are like, oh, it's that massive thing. <laughs> and I guess we're just scanning this to get a little bit of extra information for the resistance. Okay, before we order food, let's just analyze this. Uh, we need to talk to another stormtrooper and we also need to survey their supply crates. We need to look for supply crates as well. I order Chewbacca. Okay, this has a shield generator, heavy laser cannons and advanced sensors that are programmed to pick up nearby resistance chatter. Better let the resistance know to stay clear of this thing. Okay gotta stay clear of that oh wow so this is cool this isn't a rabbit hole scan first order army supplies oh this is looking very high end i feel like this kind of thing should maybe be difficult to get into i was gonna say there's got to be some kind of block on this oh we can read kylo ren's hollow diary study resistance schematics Okay, he's already helped himself to some food. He was like, I ain't doing this deli. <laughs> ah, so, how you doing? <laughs> Seen any uh, supply crates around here? Chat about starfighters. Enthuse about lightsabers. Do you know where I can get a lightsaber from around here? <laughs> now we need to look for some supply crates. Where would their supply crates come in? Supply crates, supply crates. 
Reminds me of Strangerville, The Sims 4 Strangerville. I mean, really, this is just a combination of a whole heap of different packs, which is really, really interesting to see. I'm curious about it. Ooh, scan conk droid. Oh, I want to be able to buy some of these droids. How do I buy a droid? Oh, purchase toys. Oh, it looks like this is where we can get some droid stuff from. But where do we buy the actual droids from? I mean, let's have a look if we can purchase stuff from there. What's over here? Oh, look at these droids. Aren't they cute? Okay, so the canteen is in there. Droid Depot, here we go. So we can actually buy a droid. Mubo, owner and operator of the Droid Depot. Um, delights in helping enthusiastic clients share custom droids. Tell him what you want in a droid and he'll deliver only the best. What do we want? I just want like a little friend. It's pretty cool that we can afford one of these already. Uh, there's a little purple and white one. Toy R unit, this miniature R unit is crafted in, by Mubo himself. They make for a perfect decorative. Oh, so none of these actually work? They're all toys? Oh, no wonder they don't actually work. I'm so confused. So these are all toy versions. No, I want an actual droid, please. <laughs> I mean, should we just see what a toy one looks like? Thank you for purchasing from our toys. Oh man, it's just like this tiny little thing <laughs> that we can't even, I thought we were getting a full on robot and I was so excited. Of course it was too easy to be true, too, too good to be true. So basically we can buy figurines. Where are these, where are these crates? Oh, I found more scrap metal over here. Don't mind if I take that. Oh, here's a supply crate. Here we go. Let's just survey one of these. I really want to buy a droid. I still can't believe I was looking around for ages for this thing. <laughs> and it's just like the biggest thing in the world. These are some nice build items. I quite like those. Order food or drink. Okay, so there's a bit of food and drink there if you don't want to go into the full cantina. Oh, here we go. Oh no. Okay, so order custom BB unit. So these must be the actual droids that you buy. Right, right, right. So we need to save up 1,000 bitsies. Uh-oh. Is this guy angry at me? Uh-oh. I think we're in trouble. ID check in progress. Oh, we're going to get kicked out. Move along. He said move along. He didn't like that. Maybe we have to do it when when no one can see us. Is there another supply crate somewhere? Let's maybe not look at that supply crate. Let's maybe go to this one. <laughs> Cause it looks like uh, that's, that's kind of in the way. No one look at me, all right? I don't want anyone to see what we're doing. I'm just gonna speed through this. Ooh, hello. The first order seems to be well stocked on supplies and they aren't guarded at all times. I'll report that back to the resistance. All right, so we need to just go back to any resistance member and let them know what we've found out. Okay, well, let's head back to the resistance encampment. I've got to say the loading screens are also very quick, uh, unless I just spoke too soon. No, they're reasonably pretty fast, at least on my computer. Uh, and I don't have any other packs installed, but that's good. It doesn't feel like a laborious thing at this stage for me to you know, be going between places. It doesn't seem like super annoying, but I guess you have to see how it runs on your own device to really know. Okay, guess what you guys? I have some news for you. I'm gonna report back to Raylan and, and tell them all about all of the amazing things we've found out. And then I really feel like we need to have some fun. <laughs> Hey, uh, so I, I found out some stuff. Yay, happy music. Many believe in causes, but few take action. You're clearly one of the exceptions. Mission complete. We got 200 monies. Resistance reputation, yes. And we also got a bonus reward. To get your next mission, speak with the member of the resistance in the encampment. Yes. Okay, so basically my aim is to just get a robot pet. <laughs> So what have we got here? This is a stack of crystals, which we could sell, but I don't know if we're gonna need them. Uh, we got some gonk droid things. I don't know what those are for. A little more than walking batteries. Okay, maybe if we get a robot, we can like put that inside it. I don't know. Well, should we get another mission or do we wanna get a mission from someone else? Oh, so it looks like our resistance reputation has gone up a little bit but our first order has gone down a little bit. So I thought maybe we could get our resistance 
I mean, our reputation up with all of them. You might be able to, I don't know. But so far, it seems like if you do, if you work for one, the other one's gonna go down, except for Scoundrel. Maybe we should go check out some Scoundrels and get a mission from them instead. I mean, I know I wanna go back to the cantina. I feel like I'm at home there. I like the peeps there. They don't take themselves too seriously. And they have a sweet DJ, so why wouldn't we head back to here? And we can get a mission. Let's go to Hondo again and ask to see missions. What's up? This guy's so cool. Okay. What's this I see? A fresh new face. Uh, care to join me in a game of sabak? It's really the only proper way to get to know someone. Well, we do need to get our fun up, so yes, we shall. Let's do the mission. <laughs> we just have to beat him. Okay. Uh, let's beat Hondo. I'm also confused with this table because it doesn't have any cards on it. Is this a spot where you can also eat? Like, I don't know. Uh, I guess we're back here again, eh? Let me see if I'm any better at this old game. Oh, look, our money does go down by a little bit. Oh my gosh, stop spending all your money on this game. I didn't know it was costing me to play with you. I don't know if I want to be a scoundrel after all. It seems pretty costly. No, this is the money we're meant to be saving for our little R2-D2. We better win this and win all of our money back plus more. Otherwise, I'm going to be upset. I mean, if we do beat him, we do get 400 uh, monies, I think. Oh, no. No. It's looking like he's feeling good about himself. Oh, no. Goodbye, money. Oh, man. Okay, we're just going to keep playing until we win or we run out of money. This is why I don't gamble. I find it too stressful. I hate seeing the money go down. Did we win? Yes, we won. We won. Yes. Yes. Good game, my friend. I went easy on you, of course. <laughs> you know I could use your help earning some credits. Of course you'd get a cut too. Okay, so we got 400 back. Yes, we almost have enough money. Uh, and a scoundrel reputation. Okay, I mean, that wasn't so bad. I might like another mission. And does that mean our reputation went up? Cool. So it looks like scoundrel doesn't, you know, affect resistance or first order at all, at least at this stage. Give me a mission, my- No, 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 no! I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> a little favor, eh? Why, if it isn't one of the finest Sabak players I've ever had the pleasure of losing to, I have a little favor to ask of you, my friend. A colleague of mine is holding a package for me, but he was called out of town on business before I could pick it up. This seems dodgy. There's no way for me to get it without creatively bypassing his security. Don't worry, I wouldn't ask you to break into a stranger's home. We're old friends. Go speak with Doc Onda and he'll give you a data spike. Use it to breach my friend's door and bring me his package. I mean, uh, my package. Agreed? Wonderful. Shady as. Actually, you know, if we hadn't have accepted that mission, it looks like there's room for another mission. So if you don't like the first one, it looks like you can get another one. How do I get a lightsaber too? Maybe we need to do more for the resistance. Okay, so ask people around Batu if they know of ways to obtain a data spike. I mean, look at how fun. We've had such a good time. Uh, ask about the data spike. <laughs> You are so creepy looking. I'm trying to remember what you remind me of. What do you remind me of? I heard Doc Anda has data spikes. You can find his shop in Black Spire Outpost. They are very useful. So he's got a he's got a shop, eh? A shop around here? Order food. I want to order food. There's a shop they speak of. Oh my gosh, there's so many places to order food from. Uh, should we maybe freshen up real quick? Where's this shop? Hello? Oh, here it is. Okay. This is it. Request a light a lightsaber challenge. Cool. Uh, well, let's maybe get the data spike first, and then I want to see if we can get a lightsaber, because that would be... That would be awesome. Hello? Subby's workshop. Uh, his mission is to restore balance in the galaxy one lightsaber at a time. Okay. So... Oh, okay. It looks like, um we can just buy a lightsaber. All right, we could get a nice cheap lightsaber. Oh, we can get a display case as well to display it on. Well, we need a lightsaber for sure, but where's this data spike? Maybe I'm just gonna buy one of these real quick. 
I'm gonna buy this little one. Yay! Like the Jedi and Sith before you, your choices can change the galaxy. Oh! This is a First Order mission. Oopsie doopsie. <laughs> well wait, I want to do the other mission. I'm so confused. I'm looking for challenges to compete in a lightsaber duel. Do we do this one or do we finish the other one? I don't know, maybe we just wait? Oh, so the crystals we found, we can, we can put in this and then maybe we can use it. So maybe this is what changes the color of our lightsaber. Oh my gosh. Whoa, we got a lightsaber. <laughs> That is awesome. That is so cool. Ooh, we got a fake ID card too. Sweet. Okay, that's not what we were meant to be doing though. Where is this data spike shop? Doc Onda. Oh, we're at the wrong shop, you guys. Doc Onda. Doc Onda. Where is this shop? Why am I having such a hard time completing this mission? This is a mission. Maybe I need to ask more people. Excuse me, do you know where this data spike is? I'm trying to find a shop. Uh, that's where I freshen up. Hello? <laughs> Excuse me, do you know? Don't let me catch you with one, only scoundrels use them. Oh, okay, maybe it wasn't the smartest thing for me to ask one of those guys. I don't know where this, <laughs> this data spike is. <laughs> Hey, excuse me, do you have any more information about this data spike? Hondo can set you up with one. But didn't he ask me to find one? Oh, man. Oh, Doc Onda, he sells more than antiquities. I've heard Doc Onda has data spikes sometimes. Where is Doc Onda? Isn't this place we were at earlier? Is it the robot place? Where is Doc Onda? I don't know him. <laughs> no, this is Mubo. I'm so lost, you guys. Well, they they said it was in the Black Spire outpost, so it has to be here. Okay, so the cantina is here. Oh, it's literally right here. How did I miss that? How, d how did I miss that? I have no idea, but that took me about a year to find. That literally took me like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh my God. Doc, that's Doc Onda? Right, okay. Oh, it's 25? Uh, oh no, 245. Ithorian and collector of things. Right. How much is this data spike gonna sell us back? Ooh, Jedi Holocron. Oh. <gasps> What's this? Can we buy... Oh, look, this little Ewoks. Oh. I kind of wanna like... Oh, what is this? Hmm, looks nice on a shelf. Hmm. Okay, anyway, let's just get this. Oh, obtain the package for Hondo. Okay, how do we obtain that? We now have to go to the first order. And when we arrive, there's a control panel on the wall in front of you. Okay. Okay, we're gonna travel to the first order. This, this, this is easier to know where to go. <laughs> okay, and there's a control panel in front of you. They said there's a control panel in front of us. Hello? Is that what it said? When you arrive, there will be a control panel on the wall in front of you. Oh no, now we've moved. We lost the control panel. Oh no. We're gonna have to look for this all over again. Oh, what's this? Okay, this, this must be it. I, I can't say this was exactly right in front of us, but it says, Analyze and then slice. So let's analyze first. Oh, this reminds me of cats and dogs in the vet career where you have to try a few times to figure out what problem they have. So it's kind of the same, same build, I think. A little bit nervous about this. I hope we got the right one or are we at some random other door? I'm not sure, but we also are probably really hungry, yeah. I'm just gonna speed through this. Okay, we acquired some programming skill. Keep analyzing this control panel. Okay, so we know we can't get in by rewriting the code, but we might be able to get in by scrambling keys or spoofing the access code. So I guess it's going to take us a few goes to actually figure out how to get in, but hopefully. Do we figure it out? Okay, we need to slice by scrambling the keys. Don't let anyone see us. 
What you looking at, miss? Ms. Myrie? No one can see us. I don't think anyone's around. I think it's okay. <gasps> Except for this guy. And he's thinking about going to bed, so he, he just left anyway. Did he just disappear into nowhere? Oh, he disappeared into that door, I think. Did we get in? What? Did it work? Practice slicing? What? Obtain the package? Analyze and slice into the panel in order to get past the security door. Did we, did we get the wrong one? I'm so confused. Are we in? Oh God. Oh my gosh. We might, oh God. System overloaded. Why do I feel like we, re we went to the wrong control panel? Oh no, there's another one over here. Maybe this is the one we were meant to go to. It's like in the Devil Wears Prada when they're like, put the book on the table and there's in front of you and there's like three different tables in front of her. Keep analyzing, okay? We will analyze a little bit more. Uh-oh. Oh no, he's just chatting to someone. Are they upset about us? I mean, there are a few people looking at us, but honestly, this guy doesn't look like he really cares. <laughs> he looks chill, he's fine. Oh, what, we need another data spike? Oh man, so we need, cause we used the data spike over on the other one. How do I know if that's the right one though? I don't think we're getting in. I think all we're doing is literally practicing this. So let's go get another data stick. Again, from the place that took us like three hours to find. And then we can head back and go to the other door. Cause I'm pretty sure we clearly went to the wrong one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get two of these in case I got the, do the door wrong again. We might also eat something real quick too. So he's just going over to the docking bay to eat. Um, so he's looking pretty, a little bit more happy. And then I guess we can sleep at the resistance in the tents cause I feel like that looks like a nicer place to stay than here. No offense to the people in uh, this area, but it just seems a little more comfortable to me. I like the forest, it's very calm. It's got some nice serenity. Okay, so we went over here, but they, okay, so this is in front of us, but it's behind us, you know what I mean? Okay, well, let's analyze this again. Is anyone around? Oh man, all of these guys are watching us. Okay, first order surveillance system detected and removed. Keep analyzing. Okay, let's analyze this again. The stormtrooper, really. No, go away. <laughs> okay, they told us to move away. Okay, let's just maybe hover over here. Wow, they're really into guarding that spot, aren't they? We need to wait for this guy to go. Quickly, analyze, go, go, go. No, there's another freaking, why are these guys so obsessed with us? <laughs> okay, let's all chat over here. Goodbye, don't care about you no more. Oh, these guys, they keep interrupting us. <laughs> okay, so we know what we need to do at least by now. Okay, I'm gonna go for a quick uh, quick little freshen up. Where are we freshening up, actually? I don't wanna look, cause I, I don't wanna get confused with which door we're at. Okay, now's your chance. Slice by scrambling the keys and we might finally get into this place. This is our hardest mission yet. Okay, no one, no one come by. Yes, we're in. We are in, people. Bypass the security door. Oh, it's a rabbit hole. Okay, so we don't actually get to see what's in there. I wanted to go into like a really cool like secret room or something. But yeah, it looks like we're out. So we just need to deliver the package to Hondo. Let's head on back to this location, Al, and then we can get paid and then finally we can, uh, <laughs> we can, we can then get some rest. Okay, this guy's just always at the bar, apparently. He's just always drinking here. I feel like he needs to maybe see someone about that. Okay, Ruby Salter is now rank one rookie with the scoundrel. Woohoo! So we got galactic credits, swindle interaction. Nice. And we can now buy data spikes from Hondo. Right. Cool. So what else did we get? Uh, we got a blaster pistol. And what do we do with our lightsaber? Should we get another mission? I'd actually like to see if we can get multiple missions at once. Swindle for credits? Purchase scoundrel gear. Let's just have a look at a few of these interactions. I wanna see what missions we can have simultaneously. 
Oh, we don't, we don't want, we don't want another TARDIS bike. If he had anything better for us, I would maybe buy something. Oh, so now that we've done that mission, it looks like we have a lot of missions available. Uh, all of them are the same amount of money. There's a business trip. Uh, there's a shipment of goods. Goods. M more information about the first order. Why not a business trip? I wouldn't mind that. Well, let's maybe check out how we're doing with our ranking. We're doing pretty well. Ooh, we have a bribe interaction if we get to the next level too. And a uniform unlock, so that makes sense why there are so many different uniforms you could unlock as well. Okay, well now we're back at the resistance camp. This feels like home to me. You feel like home to me. The only thing is there is, no <laughs> that's really bad. The only problem is there's no food here, I don't think. We can sleep here, but there's no food, which is a bit sad because I felt like this was a camp where we, we could have access to everything we needed to live as a peaceful human being. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave this part right here. Uh, I might do one more part. Uh, we might do another mission. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this gameplay and if you want to see more. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning or afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you soon. Dag, dag.